this is an unbelievable tournament, I have to say. Um, it, it's fantastic to see so different trends. In 2019 in France, on the previous Women's World Cup, it was already a fantastic World Cup, I have to say. Uh, I mentioned there already, wow, women football is going up massive. But now, four years later, I have to say it's unbelievable to see, first of all, the competitiveness. Uh, this is uh, unbelievable to see how many teams are playing their fantastic football. Eh? Uh, one topic what me personally I like very much is that here on this tournament uh, there are less goals happen. And this, uh, of course, for the public, for the supporters, they want to see goals, goals, goals. But me, more a goalkeeper related and focus on the defense. It's, uh, of course, uh, fantastic to see that there are less goals happen and also more clean sheets happen. Clean sheets is something fantastic for a goalkeeper, but of course, it's also very important how the team performs. Eh? It's not only the work, to be honest, to be fair, uh, from the goalkeeper, the team performing, uh, how the strikers coming back to their position, how midfield is in a, in a tight block, defensive in a tight block with the goalkeeper together. I have to say we had uh, we saw fantastic goalkeeper performance in general here. But uh, now with, uh, if I start with the Spanish goalkeeper with Catalina Coll, it is impressive her career. I observed her first time in 2018 on the Under-17 World Cup in Uruguay and there they won the title Spain. And she was uh, fantastic and very impactful, playing out with the feet, very connected to the, to the defensive line and plays also very high up on the field. And here, now, she didn't start. She was, uh, I think, number two or number three choice uh, for Spain. And after the group stage, uh, the head coach from Spain, he changed the goalkeeper. What is not usually that you're doing this, and uh, uh, Cole came in, uh, round of 16 and she played uh, straight away a clean sheet against Switzerland and then quarterfinal, semi-final, she, uh, she was very impactful also in their game and especially in the possession game uh, when she had the, the, the ball on her feet and uh, she didn't had a lot saves to, to make until so far now. Yeah? It will be interesting to see this tomorrow on the final then uh, with England uh, if they attacking her when she received the ball on her feet because the uh, transition the playing out style from her is impressive i have to say this and uh, are you are you attacking her or you leave her and you wait and make uh, maybe a mid press or you are only pressing uh, to the defenders uh, from spain she is a goalkeeper who showed up uh, special or also in the euro uh, she was there uh, fantastic and also here on this tournament she in almost every game she have a crucial save. Uh, if I remember straight away on the semi-final against Australia she had a crucial save uh, in the second half on the end right down on the floor. Great save and also how there to see the defender how they are uh, uh, playing and working for the rebound that was uh, fantastic to see and uh, it will be uh, a very nice goalkeeper battle uh, in this final and I'm really looking very much forward. Spain clear uh, the offensive. Uh, offensive uh, uh, the abilities, how they are playing forward, how they are also uh, pressing high. Uh, this is a, a team, Spain, they are, uh, uh, have to press high and they have the uh, physicality also, strength, uh, they are uh, very good and for me, also, uh, the bench from Spain is, is impressive, eh? um, especially if we're talking about a player like uh, Parallelo. Eh? When she came in, she made uh, uh, now in the quarterfinals, semifinals, always the change, the turnaround. And this is great to see. And Spain also, in generally, they use their subs a lot. Opposite England, eh? she's more the, the head coach is more focused on their, on their uh, bone from the team and she didn't use yet, I think, four players and two goalkeepers. Yeah, and uh, this is very interesting to follow, to see. Clear England, uh, for me, they showed up, uh, or for us, from the technical study group, they showed a fantastic game against Australia. Even if they conceded the 1-1, uh, 75,000 people against you, the whole country, the whole world against you, almost, and they showed up and they scored the 2-1 and the 3-1 from little mistakes from Australia and the defence, they used this chance, boom, goal, and this was great, great class. And England is focused. England is focused, clear.